Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress JSON REST API tutorial for beginners and this is our part 12th of this video session series in which we are going to use called delete post using WP remote post Word WordPress function. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video session to make the clear vision about WordPress JSON REST API. So in our previous video session guys we had seen that how can we use WP remote post WordPress function to create a post as well as update a post. Okay. So in this video session we are going to delete that post by using this function. Okay. So just go to editor. Let's say that these are the two files that we have made so far called create post and update post. Okay. So just I'm going to create another file called delete post. Okay. So let's say delete post.php okay so this is the file that we have created so successfully if you copy all the contents of update post just paste to this delete post all these things will be same we have to remove all these body sections why we have to remove because in this delete request we are not going to update any of the things that we have written inside this body parameter because this body parameter contains an array which actually contains the values Okay, so just get rid of that. So if we want to update or means delete any post from our WordPress setup, then what actually URL we have to use. So if you go to the website and this is the website that we are following. Okay, so just scroll down. In the bottom section, actually, you will see that delete a post. We need to pass this URL wpv2 slash post slash post ID. What actually we have actually seen into this right here. This is the URL that we have to use in delete case also. But the difference is that in our previous video session while updating our post, the method is actually the post type. But now in our delete case, the post method type should be delete. Okay, so just go to editor again. We need to include a parameter called method type and this parameter should be method and the method should be called delete. So successfully, if we just make a comma separated here and if you save this file, then what actually we have passed, this is the URL, which tells us that the post ID number 42 will be deleted by running this file. Okay. This is the most important parameter that you need to pass to delete a post. Okay. By using this function, you need to the URL to the first parameter in inside this WordPress function and in the second array you need to pass the header section which basically contains the authorization parameters of login username and the password and also we need to include a method equal to delete why we have included because to delete a post we need to change the method type into delete okay so that's why we actually we hi I have added to this array okay so just if we copy this body response let's say that echo just make PRE tag to make some formatting of the output. Let's say print R and this is the border response. What actually we will get by running this file? Get rid of all these contents. Just save this file. Go to browser again and let's say that just make copy of this URL route and we need to call delete post file. So let's say delete post dot PHP. Okay. So before running this file, if you go to WordPress section, just click on post again so this is the id number 4 42 of post id if you click on add it this is the post number 42 okay so if we will run this file right here by hitting this url then this board should be deleted from this post section and right now we have in the trash section as you can see nine posts we have moved into the trash section okay so after deleting this post this post should into this section Okay, so if we refresh this URL again, just press enter and successfully I think that we have moved our post into the trash section. As you can see, the status has been changed from published state to the trash state. Okay, so if we go to WordPress post, just click on refresh and now the post does not exist inside this published section or inside this all section. Okay, if you go to the trash section, then this post has been moved inside this trash. Okay. So we don't want to move actually all the posts while deleting go inside this trash section. We want that while running this URL, the post should be permanently deleted, not going through this trash section. Okay. So how can we achieve that? Just go to editor again, 
click on this need means and we need to pass another parameter by the help of query string inside this route URL okay we need to pass by passing question mark and let's say that force equal to true by this passing this query string value actually you are deleting this post permanently from this post section you are not going to pass this you are not going to change the status from publish to trash section it will be automatically deleted permanently okay so if we just go to trash section again let me restore this post once more so if you go to the all section so this is the post that we have retrieved okay and this has the post id of 42 so if we go to again so let's say post number 42 we want to delete and force equal to true it means it will not move into this trash section it will be deleted permanently from this wordpress post okay so if we go to again to this browser section just reload this page by loading this page again actually we have moved this post into the trash section if we refresh that so this has been moved into the trash section and this is because i think that file actually we have changed has not been saved okay so just save this file once more let's me refresh or restore this post inside this all post section so this is the post that we have restored successfully we have saved file as well and let's me reload this page once more just click on refresh successfully we have deleted that post from our wordpress post section so if we refresh that before refresh let me check that inside this trash section only nine elements we have okay and this is the post that we have deleted so if we reload this page so now the post has been deleted successfully from this list but now trash section has not get incremented it means that we have deleted successfully our post bypassing this force equal to true parameter to delete permanently okay so guys i think that by the help of past two videos and including this video we have seen that how can we create update and delete post by using this wordpress function called wp remote post and also we have used called json basic authentication plugin inside this plugin installed so by the help of this installed plugin actually we are able to use this is the plugin that we have installed and by the help of this plugin actually we are going to authorize make a successful authentication make use of this function also okay so successfully guys i think that i have made much more clear concept that about how can we create post update post as well as delete post by using this wp remote post function okay so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day